Hey, hey, my friends, Janelle here from JanelleMa.com. I want to talk to you today about the 10 for 1 rule. Now, this is something I, I got from John and Nadia Melton the other day. Um, I have heard it in the past, but they explained it really well for Facebook. So this 10 for 1 rule can be used for any sort of social media or any sort of a um, content creation that you do for yourself. But with Facebook specifically, I really liked it um, with the way that they explained it as well. They gave some amazing tips uh, to us the other day and especially for things like attraction marketing and um, the way we should be using our social media and stuff like that. So I gave a few of those tips the other day. So head over to my JanelleEmma.com website or to my YouTube channel and you can check those out there or even to my business page. Now today I want to go through those 10 for one rule tips um, with you and give you a bit more of a an overview of what that can be to help your business grow and basically to effectively grow your reach as well. You know, you want to, it's all about that trust factor again. We keep going back to that, but it is all about that. So, you know, when you're looking at some sort of a, a rule or a strategy to, for your social media that you want to be implementing all the time, um, <clears throat> there is a, a bit of a goal around that of how you want to create and engage with content. So obviously you want to be consistent. And you want to be building trust in your audience, obviously building trust, getting them to know and like you more. So it's not all about business. And when we're talking about this, I'm specifically going to be referring today to your Facebook profile, your free Facebook profile, not your business page. Um, obviously, you can use it on there as well, absolutely, but it's more today about your Facebook profile. So there, it comes a time when people get to the point of um, they are sharing too much business on their Facebook profile, and before they were in a network marketing company, they weren't sharing anything like that. So then they start to lose some of their audience. They start to lose their friends and family who used to be on their profile. Um, they start to lose some credibility and trust in people that that um, aren't looking for that sort of information. So this is where you know you have to decide for yourself, is your profile now going to turn into a business page or are you going to have a proper Facebook business page and then keep your profile um, using it with this 10 for one rule, which can really help to keep your audience engaged and your family on there and your friends on there and that sort of stuff as well. So it just depends on how you wanna build it for yourself. So I'll just go, a few, uh, go through the number 10. So 10 for one rule, let's start with 10. Um, you want to be posting 15 posts per week, 15 um, content posts per week on your Facebook profile. Now, the number 10, you want to be posting 10 of those which are really um, relaxed and really social based and really lifestyle based and um, nothing to do with your business. So the more that you have less about your business, the more you'll actually attract a lot of people that may have the same lifestyle as you. So um, don't go posting 10 posts a week that are purely business-based and, and only post two a week that are social or lifestyle posts because you're becoming too much of a business you know, platform for yourself and then you're not engaging with people on that personal level. They're not seeing you as someone who's a real person with a real lifestyle, with, with a real social life, um, and they're not picking up on that. So they're feeling like it's too professional. And so you want to get uh, flip it the other way. Make sure that 10 of your posts are those lifestyle posts or they may be posts that can really help your audience learn who you are, like a you know, a video of what your kids and, and yourself did on the weekend or showing them what you do on your holidays or, um, you know, some sort of a post that's about the kind of person you are, the hobbies you have, the lifestyle you live, those sorts of things that your 10 posts per week should be about that. And I think that that's really important because as I said, it's not going, you're not going too professional with your profile. So you really want to create that blueprint for yourself, like a blueprint of your lifestyle. And so when people come over to your profile, what does it look like? Is it looking like a, a really nice blueprint or a, you know, a big album of your lifestyle that they are be, um, able to see what kind of person you are behind the scenes away from your business, that they, they are able to see who you really are and the lifestyle you live, how many kids you have, um, the hobbies that you love, that sort of stuff. Are they able to see that on your profile or are they seeing too much business stuff and not really seeing who you are? So just ask yourself that question. Make sure you have 10 posts per week which are lifestyle based um, and even add in there you know ones that may help your niche or help your target audience so you know if your target audience is the stay-at-home mum why not put in some things in there that might be a really cool recipe that takes 20 minutes to cook for dinner um, or something that's um, helping them to understand 
something about being a mum, you know, how you can help your kids do something a lot better or, you know, and go and find a really good blog post about that where you've gone to some sort of mummy website and you then post that. That can also be in those 10 posts because if your niche is those mums and you're providing them value through those posts, they're going to be like, oh, cool, I'm going to keep following her because she actually gave me a really good recipe today or she actually gave me some really good lifestyle tips today on how to de-stress or something like that. So put those sorts of posts into your 10 posts per week as well. Now, the number four out of the 10-4-1 rule is um, very subtle, casually mentioning your business. So obviously with your um, network marketing business, you have products. So, uh, you know, you could go down the product line with this. It depends on how you want to look at it. But an example would be post four posts per week that are um, curiosity posts around your product or curiosity, very subtle posts about your products that you love. So for an example, it could be something like um, maybe it's a shake that you sell. So I'm in the wellness business. So I always revert back to that sort of stuff as an example. Um, but it could be a shake that you sell or some sort of a protein shake. And you could literally take a photo of your um, of your shake in your cup without showing the, the product itself. Keep that aside. Don't even show that, but just show the shake that you made, what ingredients were in it and how amazing it was or how many um, you know calories or kilojoules it was and that sort of stuff uh, without a call to action. Just say in there how amazing it is. This shake gives me so much energy. I love having it every morning, something like that. And then ask people maybe to post um, below their favorite shake or their favorite recipe, shake recipe or something like that. And that's where you're getting those engaging posts and their curiosity posts because you've shown them a post about a shake um, and you've said, you know, you've given them little hints and curious tips about what's in the shake that you love that's giving you energy and better sleep or, you know, giving you um, copium, copious amounts of vitality in the day or something like that. But you haven't asked them to ask you what the what it's all about. You've just given them curiosity and you've put that picture in their head about, oh, she's got something that gives her lots of energy in the day to run around with her kids. What is that? And they and ask them, give them the call to action of why not share with me your favorite shake or share with me your favorite um, drink that you love to have in the morning? And that's it's very subtle then. It's not you trying to ask for them to ask you to show your products or um, asking them to ask you to buy your products. So the more subtle you can be, the more curious you can be, the better those, those sorts of posts that you're doing four times a week are going to work in your favor as that attraction marketing side of things. And then the number one, so in the 10 for one rule, the number one is obviously posting that really strong post, which could be like a testimonial post, um, or it could be a, an offering your, your product post. So just for an example, the testimonial post could be that those shakes have help you, helped you to lose 15 kilos. So you could say, you could do your before and after pictures and then say, um, have the, the picture of the shake sitting next to you and say that this plus these supplements or something like that have helped you to lose 15 kilos over the last so many weeks. And then obviously have that with a call to action, a really strong call to action. The call to action could be something like, if you want to lose 15 kilos in this many weeks like I have and feel amazing and get lots of energy and be able to sleep better, reach out to me, type a yes in the comments below and I'll send you what it is that I use as um, as a weight loss regime. You know, and that's that really strong call to, po call to action post. And by doing that, if you're only doing that once a week, not every day, once a week, it's going to look less um, direct to your people or it's going to be a lot more subtle to your people and it will make them feel like they want to reach out to you because if all, all of your other 10 posts and your four subtle posts are, um, are more based around not giving that call to action and asking for your product, then they're going to trust you more. Your audience is going to build up more. They're going to um, engage a lot more in what it is that you do and follow you a lot more. And in return, when you do that one post a week, which is that really strong call to action post, they will reach out to you because they're now liking and trusting what it is that you're putting out in the rest of the week. So I hope that was a value to you today, guys. Please Reach out to me if you want more information on the 10 for one rule. Remember that you want to do around 15 posts a week, which is, you know, say two posts a day plus that really strong call to action type post and get yourself into thinking that, you know, um, your goal is to generate interest in what you do and generating leads from that. So, 
if you're not getting many leads from your post, maybe you're posting too much about your business or products, or maybe you're not giving enough lifestyle tips and enough about your lifestyle that they're trusting you enough when you are posting these business posts. So the more you can get them to trust you, the more you give out your um, really engaging lifestyle type posts, the more it's going to come back and benefit you in a big way. And it's no different to if you're um, you know, like if you're at a, a movie theater or you're watching TV, TV and they give you a promotion of a movie, they'll actually show you the preview of the movie, won't they? They're not going to show you the whole movie and what's going to happen in the whole movie. They just want to give you that little snippet that's going to get you on the edge of your seat to make you go to the cinemas and watch that movie. You know, so that's what you want to do with your products or your business. You just want to give them a snippet of it, that curiosity side of it, which is going to spark their attention. It's going to cause them to be curious and then they will want to reach out to you for more. So it's just like that movie, you know, just like seeing a preview of a movie for yourself that you can see um, where you go, oh, that preview looked really good. I want to go watch that movie. You know, you want that same reaction from your people on your Facebook. So guys, thank you for watching today. Please reach out to me if you want some more information. Comment below if you've got some more tips on this as well and you like to use it for your business strategies. And I will see you all in the next video.